Hi and welcome to C Sharp tutorial of registration recording system. I'll show you guys how this works. Okay, here it seems to have a duplicate of some sort. So I can always select and just hit on delete right here. This maybe we go for this and just hit delete. There we go. Okay. And we can also add more data onto the system or delete so what I'll do now is maybe let's populate it again so that you guys see how the whole system really works so select the type of member and let's give that a name okay we leave this. all right we just need to add our details in there and let's say we have another potential member and let's change that name let's say sunny sun sunny Owen. and we add that in there okay one other thing that this system can do is we can always click on the exit button and maybe say no Okay guys, what I will do now is just to start a new project. So let's go into Visual C Sharp and get started. Welcome to Visual Studio. So we click on new project. And on this dialog box, we select Visual C Sharp and select Windows Forms application. And right here, let's give our project a name. I'm gonna call it CS underscore let's say record underscore systems and save that okay but now that our form is ready let's go to the property here and change the size of the form to 1368 by I'm gonna go for 800 and start position let's position that dead dead center right there okay the next thing we want to do is go to the tools and select the following first of all i need list box get a list box here and just take it down a little bit then i need good box one up here and just copy that across because I need another one here and bring that down then we need labels there's some labels here one here and we need about four here yeah that's fine then text box now shall we go for the combo box first we need one combo box here and text box right there we've got our text box one text box here and just copy it across take it all up all right I now need panel let's see there we go draw the panel here move this up one panel here and copy I need another panel select it all let's change the, uh, the color or the border style of that very panel right here we change it to fix 3d okay that's fix single that's fine now I need two, actually four, four buttons. One here, another one here, and two here. There. So what I'll do now is to speed up the whole process of this interface design, and I'll get back to you guys. Okay, guys, this is how my interface is looking right now. So let's run it for the first time so that you see how the whole system looks. Okay, guys, as you can see, none of these buttons do anything. So what I want to do now is let's double click on the button so that we're able to populate this. 
But first thing first, I would like to deal, uh, disable this very button. So double click on the form. So right inside the form load, I'm going to enter btn btn delete this very one dot enable equals false there now let's populate my combo box so i'm going to say combo box dot items dot add that's the method to add item onto the combo box so what i want to add now is annual members Now coming here, we must enter a column. The next one, let's say combo cmd combo box dot items dot add, and that will be let's go for support member or supporting member. Well, yeah, so let's enter another column here, and we speed that up. There. So those are the data that will populate the combo box. So if I run it now, and right there, guys. So that's the combo box. Okay. The next thing I want to do is let's take care of this exit button. So let's get rid of that and come right in here. Double click on the exit button itself, and right there, let's go for dialog results. I exit. Alright, so I would like to prompt the end user to confirm if they would like to exit the system. So I'm going to say I exit equals message, message box dot show, open a bracket, and let's ask the customer or end user to confirm, confirm. exit there so let's come in here and just enter our title in there I'm just gonna call it record system okay so let's also enter message box button dot yes or no okay comma press enter on the message box icon as well so we can always use question for that right there that is fine enter your semicolon so now let's use the conditional statement if I exit equals dialog results equals equals dialog result dot yes so what I want my system to do is application dot exit and that's all there is to it so which means if you select yes the system will exit itself so let's try that out now and we have an error what's the error about let's check that out okay right here is the error semicolon is required here so let's run it again all right click on that no click on that yes so that is taken care of the next thing I would like to take care of right away is to enable this anytime anytime this uh, label list box I mean is selected so I'm gonna copy this so copy that and let's come straight in here double click on the list box right in there we enter as follows equals true and entire semicolon okay that's sorted now so the next thing we want to do is look at the reset button double click on the reset button itself on the reset we want the button the delete button to become false So make that force there. Okay, we also want a to clear dot clear the 
choose the name and the saw name let's clear the saw name as well dot clear there okay now we also need to clear the member id dot clear right and finally let's clear our list box list box dot items dot clear right there all right one other thing i would like this system to be able to do is to add all of this information here all the data enter in here right in here so let's double click on add double click on the add button and right there let's go for list dot items dot add so what we want you to add will be as follows that will be txt the first one will be member id dot text and we we'll enter a plus sign and tab that's how you add a tab in c sharp then we also want Okay, we want the the content on the combo box itself okay I think maybe we should add two tabs here yeah and right here let's go for combo box the combo double click dot text okay so the combo is there and maybe just copy this we want two of those as well there then we want txt surname or first name dot text and two of those as well let's come back down txt surname dot text right there so if i run the system now whatever we enter in there let's say the member id is gh whatever and write in here select any of these come right down here and the saw name let's go for Paul Bowman and add you see that guys so we can just add details of Captain Paul Bowman right in there but let's see reset yeah that works and it's not clearing this okay the other thing i would like to do is to have a title right at the top here so let's take care of the title i'm going to do that by taking care of the form load let's come straight onto the form load double click on the form load and right here let's just copy this what i have the form to add as follows copy I would like the form load to add the following for me. Paste that in there. So let's see. Yeah, maybe let's copy all of this and I just change it. Paste that in there. So the first one that is supposed to be member ID. There. Member ID taken care of. And followed by this is supposed to be member so let's just call this maybe member category okay this is member category right there that would be T right close that and here will be first name the first name that's fine and finally surname right there guys that is that done if i run it this will be the title there we go but something is missing okay let's see it's got to do with the tab okay let's try a tab each i'm gonna take delete one tab each delete another one here and run it once again so we now have one two three four titles there that is fine Add a space here. 
okay let's see and we run it this is what we get so we can enter some members these details in there and here as well now let's enter a name in there okay enter that there we go we can clear but the problem is we'll be able to clear this so let's clear there we go that is wrong i expect a title there so what i will do is come right in here copy all of this and come back right in here double click on the resets and paste that there so that should take care of that okay let's run it again now we select enter members details enter support member name let's go for Felix more and add Felix more there there we go can we select yes we can select but can we delete we cannot delete we can clear and we can exit so let's take care of the delete button come right in here double click on the delete and right in here for the delete button let's just copy that and just paste all of this in here copy paste and items dot remove remove art open a bracket and that will be the list name dot select index selected index and enter a column there so the next thing we want to do is btn delete which is right here dot enable we would like it to disable it equals false there right there i think that might be the end so let's just let's see the whole lines of codes this is for delete that is to add data onto the list box and here that is for reset and that is just a single line of code for the list box itself and up here we have the exit codes right here that is the form load codes there so let's run the whole program again all right let's run it now so enter members details so let's go for md and the name will be let's say casey carry add casey carry there and let's go for kim add that in there let's go for Dean Dean J and add that in there then the next thing let's add more maybe echo a As well and let's add we'll show the Lagos there add and maybe add one or two more okay let's come in for Benin yeah why not Benin and let's say supply there and that is it guys that's how you create your own registration recording system as you can see if I select any of these we can always delete look at that so with that guys I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial I suppose you enjoyed so you all have a nice day now and bye for now